Welcome back and today I'll be showing you how to install the drain hose on a Bosch heat pump dryer. Now before we turn the dryer around we need to make some changes to the water tank so let me show you what needs to be done with that first. Now the water container needs to be turned upside down, but of course, before you do that, you need to make sure there's no water in it. So this one's nice and empty, so let's flip her around. Now there's only two changes you need to make to the water container, and what you'll need to do is this little uh, plug here. You need to remove that plug, like so. And if you turn the unit over, you'll see that there is a little let me get closer for you. You'll see that there is a little place, a uh, little storage place to put this plug, just in case you need to reverse it later on. Now the other thing you'll need to do is this little filter here, just pull this out. And again, it has a nice little storage area here. So just put, put that in like so. Put the water container, back in and that's it. Now we can spin the unit around and access the back. So let's have a closer look at everything you get in the packet. And the first thing you get of course is the hose itself and you also get a little bracket that goes over your laundry sink. Now this is an adapter for connecting to a pipe under the sink. And the last thing you get is some cable ties. So now we'll zoom up closer to the back of the dryer and I'll show you how to connect the hose. So let's have a look where the outlet hose is going to be connected. And all you need to do is from the top right hand side, follow the existing hose down all the way to the bottom. The first thing you'll need to do is pull this existing hose off. And this is where the screwdriver comes in handy. The reason you won't be able to pull the hose off by hand is because as you pull, the hose will actually contract around the outlet and it just makes it tighter. So you need a screwdriver to do this job. So just grab your screwdriver and using the top as a brace, if you do it on the edges, it just makes it so much easier. And there we go, whoops, there's still a bit of water in there. I'll just grab the little glass because I can't get to a bucket because they're all on the other side of the laundry. So I'm just gonna, so you can see even though I've loosened this, even if I pull on it, it still really sticks, there we go. So once the hose is off, you've got a little plastic parking bay, they call it, just sticking out there, and you can attach it to that. And there we go, that was easy. There was no force required to do that. So now it's just a matter of connecting the drain hose to the outlet pipe of the dryer. Make sure to push it in all the way. You just need to wiggle it up to the top. Oh, that's on there securely. So don't, don't worry that you can still see a gap there. Now that that's nice and secure, we're going to move the dryer back into its place and hook up the outlet pipe to the laundry basin. Now this is where the cable ties come in really handy. You can see that the hose doesn't sit in this bracket too well, so you can just secure it by using those supplied cable ties. And there we go, that's, that's gonna stay in there. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, snip off 
these ends. And that's it. Next thing to do is to test it. So I'll give you a bit of a tip. One of the things I found is that the hose that comes with the dryer is quite stiff and can be difficult to work with. So I've used the hose from the washing machine to loop over and help hold the hose from the dryer in place. So how much better is that? No more having to pull out this water reservoir and empty it after every load. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please consider hitting that like button. And if you wanna see more easy DIY projects, tips and tricks, or money saving ideas, hit that subscribe button too. We've got plenty of great videos on the way and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.